God has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. In Isaiah chapter 4, verses 2, actually through its entirety, 2 through 6, Isaiah is telling us that there's going to come a time that God is going to change things around. From what we have just witnessed in Isaiah chapter 3 and in Isaiah 4 verse 1. Isaiah is telling us, as I started with on the first Sunday, about a time that God is going to restore what he took away. <clears throat> How many know about God restoring things Amen. that he has taken? <clears throat> Excuse me. Isaiah chapter 4 tells us that in that day, what day is, is that day, preacher? Well, let's, let's, let's look back at, at Isaiah 3 where we read it where the children are the oppressors. Yeah. And well, let me back in. He said, and ask for my people, because stuff has gotten so bad. He said, and ask for my people, the church, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. We couldn't handle all this, you know, the first Sunday, because I didn't want to get stoned. <clears throat> Put all that together. Amen. Amen. But I got a picture now on this, 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 this road today because of the month. We need to understand again why the children are the oppressors. Why the children have gotten out of control. Why the children no longer respect their elders. Why the children no longer respect their own parents. Why children are killing parents and parents are killing children. There has to be something really wrong with our nation, when God says, my own people, not the worldly people, but the church people, children are oppressing them in the church. And in my, in my nation, in my, in my place, women are in control of the people. Women are ruling. Uh, does it sound familiar? Does it sound familiar? See, ladies, let me show you something with you. See, you, you might as well come on with the text. Because if you're struggling with what you're reading, then every, there may be a problem inside of you. Because this is the faith that we believe. Amen, somebody. I don't care what the world is doing, we're going to have to stick with the text. Because if we can all agree that, that the children are the oppressors, we can amen that thing. Because we scared of our own children. I see a few here shaking all about me, but I can't think a whole lot of folk in here at all. Church folk. Afraid of their own children that they prayed for. <laughs> they brought the son to school. Well, they used to bring them to Sunday school. No, you ought to be afraid of that person. They don't, don't they bring them to church. They, your parents brought you to church, but you don't think it's important for your children? And so Isaiah is, Isaiah is telling us that, that things are bad. It's got so bad in the church that God has taken away the people's support. Taking away the bread and the water. He's taking away men. He's taking away leadership. He's taking away the things that make a nation thrive. God did. Now put the, put the song right there, Reverend David. God has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. God said, I'm taking it away. And nobody ain't the devil taking it. If God can, the one who woke you up this morning, he's the one that's taking it away because of sin. Right. Yeah. Got so bad that church folks started 
with you in the pool. Yes. Chapter 3 tells us that it's so bad that church folk were robbing the poor, oppressing the poor. And, and one translation says they were, they were actually raping the sheep of what they had to be. Let me break it down to you. They were taking by any means necessary all of the monies and supplies that the poor had. Right, they were getting rich, they were getting fat themselves and, and using all kinds of, of manipulation to rip the people off. Does that sound familiar? That's about this chapter 3. Yeah. Leaders, leaders, preachers, preach. The deacons, the deaconesses, the trustees, the leadership, they were in the church trying to take all they could from the people. Uh -huh. God said enough is enough. In that day, in that day, what day, what day? Let's that, bag up chapter 4. He said in, in, at a particular time in, in history, Isaiah is telling us that it's going to be so bad, but Regardless of how bad it is, God is going to show up and turn the situation around. Let's see how bad it's going to get. Let's go back out to chapter 4. Now, we already looked at the part where we see that uh, uh, children are depressed, right? And women rule, right? Let, let's see how bad it's going to get in that day. Somebody shout in that day. Now, I am not trying to be your friend, first of all. I'm not trying to be your friend. When I'm up here, I ain't trying to be your friend. I'm, just, I'm trying to be your pastor, shepherd, because uh, I am employed by God. That we got you, you, the Lord wills that, that, that I leave here by vote or, or by whatever reason. Guess what? I still work for Him. And so if, if preach teaching gets me in trouble, then let, let the preacher be in trouble. Because God has spoken. And so let the church say what? Look at somebody say, in that day. In that day. In that day, in that day when, when God gets ready to show up, when that branch with his outstretched hand begins to show up, when, when his mercy begins to show up, when his Christ begins to show up, let's look at what's going on in the land. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1 says, and in that day, are you reading it? Yeah. Read it with me. And in that day, what? Yeah. Seven women shall take hold of what? Look, he ain't got to look for them. They looking for him. And that day, a particular day going to happen. It's coming where, how many women? Turn to get your face up. Straight your face up. Straight your face up. Don't be looking all around. Don't be looking all around. Straight your face up. Straight your face up. In that day, seven women shall take hold of what? One man saying what? We will eat and wear only be called by the to take away how bad is it going to get when God starts taking stuff from the church from his people now remember what I read and what we read in in chapter 3, the beginning part, what God is taking away, if you notice, it's an abundance of men. He's taking men away. He's killing off men because men have just got crazy. Ain't that what happened to God? I don't care about you put it, we can put it on, we make jokes, we put stuff on the woman. You say, well, the first man did it. We know, we know she did what she did, but we know the world was turned upside down because of her what? The man. That was not the woman's doing. She, she helped to bring him down. She participated in the, in, the, in the crime to bring down God's man, but she wasn't the responsible party for the world being turned upside down. It was... Man, and whenever men don't take their rightfully place and stand on what God said, then God has to start changing leadership. God has to clean house. 
Because when men don't do what they are supposed to do, somebody else got to step up. Yeah. So here's a, here's a point. They can end where, where men are scared. Does that sound familiar to me? Some of y'all have with men and you're you still scared from your house. If it's scarce for you and you got a man that you, that you married to, you got his last name and you still hardly see him. You know it's scarce for the one that, ain't, that don't have one. Amen. And that day, how bad is it going to get? Seven women to one man. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. It, but it, it is the result of the scarcity of men is because God has spoken and he is tired of what men have been doing to his people. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. So later, when you see it happening, it's happening now. What does, what does verse 1 say? Verse 1, verse 1 says, he said, let day, it's going to be so bad that the women are going to take hold of them. They're going to go get it. They're going to find it. It don't sound like women are looking for men today. You know what? I, I'm in the wrong church to declare. Declare God. These folk are too saved for me. I did not know Sister Wade, I was pastoring a, a perfect church. I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. Thing. I didn't know I had a perfect church. I don't know how the Lord allowed me to come because I know I'm not perfect. I'm just saying, it, see, it doesn't it sound for me today. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are men at? Locked up. What are men at with other men? Yeah. My goodness, it feels already. Uh, <laughs> it feels already a scarcity of men. Then what happens when men start loving men? The numbers go even. You already got a bunch of them in jail. The numbers went down. Now you got to compete with other men. You have to get up. You wonder why you're getting scared? Seven women. Seven women. In that day. 
Because men are scared. Seven women going to take hold. All y'all put your hand on <laughs> Now, Now, but I want you to understand. Church, church, listen. See, I, I know we see this and say, and brother would say, well, hallelujah. <laughs> but let me share something with you. Let me, let me share something with you. Whenever, and, and listen, and listen. Multiple wives was going on already back then. So this is nothing new. Yeah. But the difference in this situation uh -huh. is that it develops out of sin. Yes. It develops out of what well, nothing wrong with them having multiple wives because in that time, by biblical time, they had multiple wives. But now it has gotten so scarce that even the one that couldn't afford to have multiple wives come to have extra wives. <laughs> now, listen, if you, if you cannot already afford to have multiple wives, what you gonna do with Because you can't feed them. So you need to understand, men and women, that when God forces an issue because of sin, it is not heaven on earth. Amen. It's not heaven. <laughs> this didn't happen naturally. Yeah. It happened because of sin. And all these women got, got hold of it. Now watch, watch what they're going to say. Watch, watch, watch what they say. They said, we will eat our own bread. And wear our own apparel. Let me break this down. Okay, this seven, these seven women who have taken hold of this man are saying, we work for ourselves. We make our own money. We don't need your money. We will wear our own apparel. We buy our own clothes. I don't need you to do by me nothing. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no money anyway. How do you do this? Seven. No, no. Seven to one. It, it, he's simply drawing a picture to show you how bad it's going to get. It could be more than seven, but he's letting you know. At least seven. I'm going to say, we don't need your money, man. We don't even want your money. We're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to cook for ourselves. All we want to do is take hold of you and just let us carry the Nash name. <laughs> to take away our approach, our reproach, our shame. Seven women are going to grab one man because times have gotten so messed up that they'll do whatever. Ooh. Did I say that? They do whatever they can do to get a man. Does this sound familiar? Amen. Watch, watch. Look at somebody say, watch this. Turn me down a little bit. Turn me down. These are church women. These are the holy women. These are the women of worship. These are the wild women. I didn't write this, did This is not written to the sinner. All things that the sinner to do is get saved. Repent. Y'all got it? Y'all got this? Y'all got this? Amen. So all we want to do is use your name so it'll take away our shame so that we will have a covering. Uh -huh. That's it. We need a covering. Yeah, In today's society, you got a lot of women saying, I don't need no covering. Yeah. Uh, I don't need nobody watching my back. I don't need to have to ask to nobody. I'll make money just like he does. I go to work just like him. 
I don't need what my dad. He just he just my dad. I'm grown. I don't live in my dad's house. But when trouble comes, where's dad? When you need a man to show up on your behalf, where is your man? Where is your covering? He said, because see, if the man was not important, <laughs> see, the women are telling the story of the importance of a man. The women are telling you that it takes the man to cover them and to remove some of the shame in their life. Yeah. 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 Seven. seven. Does it sound for me today? Amen. Yeah. All she wants. You know what? It, it, it's so bad. The woman said, I don't need to get back. I can have babies without her. Yeah. Right. yeah. And guess what? I, I don't need the man in the, in the child's life. All right. We can, I can raise this child by myself. I make enough money to do it. Do my own thing. They, 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 they were having fun. Until God. <laughs> Got time. Yes. Now, now, don't get upset about it because y'all can have a seat. So have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you so much. Give them a great big hand clap. You know, look at that. They said they don't need it no more. Look at it. There's always one in the seven. Look at it. I'm a sweet conclusion.